What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. We're just going to do a quick roundup of this week's content and uh, we're going to start by going through all the events. We're going to check out a couple of new things as well. For people asking and a lot of people will ask, um, I do think that they will add some stuff in here uh, quite soon. I think within the next like couple of weeks. Um, but for now, we've just got everything the same. So if you've missed out on any of these players, um, you know, such as these ones here in Zaggy, they are slowly, slowly going. So 60 days time, these will be gone. Andy Cole, all those. And then the rest of the boys will probably be uh, recycled. I'd say we'll get a couple of new ones in there, right? So that's just to cover that. There is nothing in the eFootball Points shop at the moment. Moving on to the events. There is nothing in authentic events today uh, or this week either. Uh, maybe we'll get something Monday, but as of now, there isn't. Obviously, you've still got your friend match and trial match and co-op and all that. In the Dream Team events, you can see here that we do have a new event that's going to tie into June's campaign. So this is just your, your normal player of the week. You just win this one. You know, I've, I've done plenty of videos on this. You can either sim the games or, of course, you can play the games yourself or you can do a mixture of both. You can start the game, um, you know, on high difficulty uh, yourself and get the maximum amount of points that you can get for it. You get about 2,000 now because of the player bonus with the squad that you can have. It doesn't matter what players that you use once they are uh, part of a nationality. Um, it doesn't matter what you use. And then you can obviously go into that and um, get your 3,000 points, You know, usually score a goal or two, and then just put it back on the AI if you want to go that route. You've also got the J League. That is over in three days. The Spanish League and the National Teams online one as well. So these three are offline against the AI. You get your player of the week with this one, and this one is a conditional event. So this is an AI event with the challenges already locked. Check out the rewards on offer and start with the challenge of your choice. So I do like that they're kind of changing things around a little bit, that you can just go straight for this one if you want to. Um, you know, it, it depends on what they're trying to do. I think that they still have a lot of stuff that they're figuring out themselves as to what to offer people uh, going forward. But for this one, lads, you literally just need to accumulate three points, three points and three points in each challenge and then you get the rewards 50,000 for the first one 50,000 trainer points for the next one and then a skill trainer for the third one which we're in here at the moment look it is nice I think all the all the event conditions and stuff like that they need to include uh, filters for online that's the big one that they need to include you know like three star teams four star teams don't have a player over 19 your squad or stuff like that because at the moment unless you are going for like god squad mode and you want to be division one try hard mode like i've done in the past um it doesn't really reward you to play road to glory because you're going to come up against just god squads most of the time you know because look when i'm playing with my full squad i want to play with my full squad do you know that kind of way it's not my fault if i've got a better or worse team than my opponent and vice versa some people have unbelievable all legend squads with 100 overall in every position so that's not their fault man that's their choice to to to, to open packs and do what they want to do and that's what the game allows them to do so um if you are playing like level three um you are at a bit of a disadvantage right but the event conditions of this one are include 23 players from the following teams so it has to be barca or it has to be uh spanish league teams right so just a quick way of doing this if you wanted to go into that and go to team go to auto pick players and go by uh by event in the league that will do it for you you go back out and then you will have your conditions met because it will put the team uh, proper for you, right? So just a lot of people are still a bit, little bit confused about that. We also have the national teams one. So they're against the AI. So they can play them against the AI and get a load of rewards. This one is for your 50 eFootball coins. So uh, there's event conditions that apply in this one as well. Um, you need to pick your team here. Once you pick your team, I mean, obviously everyone's going to pick France. But if we pick Portugal here, you can always change this at the end. You literally just need to get one point in your first match and then you get your skill trainer as a reward the rewards online are obviously going to be better because you're playing against you know opponents rather than uh, any difficulty ai um but the rewards here are skill trainer two skill trainers and then 50 e football coins so i mean you can actually do this event every week and you know amass up a lot of coins and you also have the j leagues where you need to use j league players uh players there so it's the same rinse and repeat e football league is still ongoing friend match and online quick match as well so um yeah look the big one i suppose is the cards that they've released and this june campaign so there's going to be a login campaign uh where you get fifty thousand today and then 10 10 10 another 50 on friday or on uh thursday and then another 10 and another 10 to 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 carry us over the whole day the whole week okay seven days of it 
Then they're also introducing the special event that we saw, the special tour event, um, and all that sort of stuff that you'll see there. And we'll also be getting a, f a player of the week in that tour event as we cover there as well. Other than that, lads, it's all about cards, as is the usual on every Thursday, um, until they change the kind of... The release cycle, I suppose, right? Firstly, we've got two player of the week packs. We've got on Enco Encore or Encore um Encore stat stars. Um, and these are a mixture of players that they have released before. So you've got a big selection here of 22 players. You can clear this agent um if you want to. Um you can, you know, you don't need you can literally open every single player if you want to open every single player. There's some good players in there. I will get a review done of that. And then similarly, you've got another um 22 selections in here so Borella, Salah, Dembele, uh, Lataro Martinez, Valverde, Griezmann there's a lot of good players in here um, but for me I think yeah it is it is kind of obviously old content um, obviously some of the cards will be slightly um, different if you haven't got them already you've also got the Italian pack here and the worldwide Japanese legends there as well there's some good selections in it all of these are still ongoing including the nominating contracts but yeah the Italian pack I have done a review on that uh, by the time this video goes up, I will have a review out on that. I mean, these two players, Pirlo and Cannavaro, are absolutely insane. Toddy is good, depending on how you train him up. <sighs> Having a cup of sup of tea, lads. And these worldwide event players, we will do a review on them as well. Let me know if you want training guys on them. Kubo's a very good player, lads. He's really, really, really strong. Um, I think the big thing with him is his, his dribbling ability, which is insane. But yeah, that is it, lads, for the weekly roundup. I mean, look, we're in... I would say the end game now of eFootball 2023. You know, we've got one week left of the beta. Um, so I do feel that a lot of people are going to be jumping on and testing things out. But I think all eyes are definitely now on eFootball 2024. Um, so that's going to be something that I think we definitely will need to keep a look at um, for, you know, for news later on in, um, you know, the month, right? Because I do feel like June is going to be a very important month and July to kind of set the scene and set the tone for what eFootball 2024 is going to be. Because look, you know, the match pass and all that sort of stuff, they have got some really good ideas in here. Um, but if you're a newcomer, you're going to be very impressed with what's on what's on offer. Especially if, you've, if you're coming from FIFA or especially if you're coming from another sports game where the grind is very heavy. You know, I used to play a lot of NBA 2K and the grind is just... You know, you'd need to be playing 35 hours a week just to compete online with the Dream Team and building your squad. And if you wanted to stay free, free to play. Whereas on this game, I do feel like it is very inviting for newcomers. Um, and you do get like overwhelmed with so much free stuff and events and stuff to do. It's just about finding that little, um, that little kind of like... Little, little hole for us or that little kind of platform for us that have been playing the game for a long time and are looking for something new look at co-op and the impact that's had i've been really enjoying co-op i'm going to be streaming again today um but yeah that is it for me lads i'll be back in a bit and i will talk to you later peace don't forget to subscribe